here, boys. How are we feeling? Now, I'm a little sad that the Lions did not squeak their way into the playoffs, although we made it close. But I tell you what, we are going to be a dominant team next year. I have been saying that for like 10 years, but I truly believe it right now. Now, as I'm recording this, the first round of the playoffs has not occurred yet. And that's actually on purpose because I want to make my predictions right now with you guys, okay? Uh -oh. Yeah. So Seahawks 49ers, I got the 49ers. Chargers, Jaguars. Who the f do you think you are? Nickel. I got the Jaguars winning. I'm gonna kick the living out of that bitch. Dolphins, Bills, I got the Bills. Giants, Vikings, I got the Vikings. Ravens, Bengals, I got the Bengals. And Cowboys, Buccaneers, I got the Cowboys. Only time will tell. My only real upset in there is the Jaguars. You but for suck. some reason, I just love Trevor Lawrence right now. I'm a bit of a meat rider, but... <laughs> Either way, it's going to be really exciting, and it's extra exciting for Wheel of Mutt right now because the brand new playoff promo just dropped. I think it's so stupid, the limiteds they did, like limited 96 Bruh. Aaron Donald for a team that's not in the playoffs, limited Randall Cobb for a team that's not in the playoffs. How about you give me 96 overalls of players that are actually in the playoffs? What is this? Promo? Whatever. So let's talk team before we get our first few wheel spins here. Mahomes is a super solid but likely not endgame quarterback. Okoye will eventually be replaced by Earl Campbell and he'll head over to fullback so I don't need to worry about fullback tight end is great offensive line is either spectacular or horrible there is no in between wide receivers definitely need help defensively we have Damar Hamlin who is as I'm recording this doing significantly better so that is amazing I'm so happy about that we got Demarcus Ware Mark Robinson sucks Micah's great we know Micah Troy's gonna be great sauce is great Okuda played a great game we're also coming off one of the hottest and best wheel of victories of all time so I can't promise I'll top it but I promise Promise my energy will be there for you boys. Also, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy coins or players. I recommend buying players. It's the safest method. You're going to get a way better deal than what EA would offer you. And my code MMG can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel'em Up, baby. So, undoubtedly, we have a lot of positions to fill. Beggars cannot be choosers. I will take whatever wheel spin I can get here. Hopefully, we get some of the new playoffs. Darn it, that's not the absolute best one, but I am so excited that I actually got playoffs players. So, as you just saw, the absolute best playoffs players are the 96s. This is the tier of spin right under that. These are any 90 to 95, though. So, I will get to choose positions. Unfortunately, there's no 94 or 95s either. The next tier of playoff players is 93 overall. So, what we're going to get right now is a 93 overall play. There's Dawson Knox. There's Evan Neal. That's pretty high on my list right now is Evan Neal. A true middle linebacker in Patrick Queen. 92 speed, 6 foot. But he gets Lurker for one AP. Ooh, we could complete the left side of my line with Tyron Smith too. This might be the best bet because my center and left guard are already so good. We might as well just make the whole left side of the line really dominant. All right, this is what we're going to do. Our playoffs wheel spin gets us 93 overall. Tyron Smith, who gets one AP edge protector. Now the left side of my line is actually like kind of God tier. Tyron Smith, welcome to the team. Okay, I'm really liking the left side of my line. The right side of my line, not so much. Let's see our second wheel spin. I'd like to add to defense here. I don't want to go too offense heavy. Okay, 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 okay. I've been saving these for a while now. These three awesome packs were in the store for a limited time. I don't think any of them are still in the store. And I left them here for Wheel of Up. So this wheel spin is a choice of the unopened packs. I could either do the Time Dilation Ghost Pack, which gives you a choice between three Ghosts of Madden players, which I think are guaranteed to be 92 overalls or better. The 92 plus zero Chill Fantasy player is exactly how it sounds. I think you get a choice between three. And then this final pack is three 92 plus players out of five. The best one is probably this one on the far right, but if I open this one on the far right later into the season, there will be better players. I think I want to Ghost of Madden. I'm going the Time Dilation Ghost Pack. The Ghost of Madden are so good. I think I'm going to get at least a 94 in here. The animation's nasty! Yo, we start out with 95 Herman Moore. Oh my God, he'd be an ag monster. He'd be the best wide receiver on my team. Six foot four, 95 speed. That would beat man coverage. Oh my God, we still have two options. Our second play there is! Oh. Bledsoe is actually a crazy good quarterback. I just have a personal vendetta against the slow white quarterbacks. I just think it's like not any fun. Oh my God, he's 87 speed. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Drew Bledsoe is like too meta for me. I think I'd way rather have 90 overall Mahomes than 95 Bledsoe. I'll tell you right now, Bledsoe is the best pick though. Just, I guess if it depends what this third and final player is. Third and final player is 
Oh my god! This is actually such a hard choice. This bag is so good, it's a hard choice. Okay, 95 wheel shields puts me on the track to literally the best O-line I can have. I could run the ball like a psychopath. I could, I could do anything I wanted back there if I got 95 wheel shields. Bledsoe is a strong meta quarterback. I could put Hot Rod Master on him, I'm pretty sure. And then Herman Moore is built for the Ag, man. This is how you beat man coverage. You need superstar wide receivers. I'm gonna go Herman Moore. I need to beat man coverage. It's the biggest thing stopping me from winning games right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Bledsoe is the next best pick, and I think Will Shields would just be greedy for my own line. I don't think Will Shields is gonna help me beat. Whoa, 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 whoa what? Shit. There's two rounds? What? There's two rounds, and I. Oh, and there's a right tackle. Oh my god, I could have gone Will Shields. I could go Will Shields and Ryan Ranch. <laughs> Our third and final player is Dallas. Goddard! Oh my god. Okay, so I already have Hawkinson. I can't go that. Milano would actually be kind of nasty, dude. I mean, I said I wanted to go offense and defense. I've already got Micah, but obviously I just put Milano as the other outside linebacker. What is Milano? Is he supposed to be a pass rusher? Is he like a coverage guy? I'm hoping he's a coverage guy. He's a run stopper. Dude, do I go Matt Milano? Dude, I'm gonna run Matt Milano. Let's go! Okay, so that pack was way better than I thought it was. I thought it was just one player. 95 Herman Moore, 94 Matt Milano just got added from one wheel spin. And we still got two more of those. So if we get that spin again down the line, we'll be able to use it. All right, our third and final wheel spin. We've added a line. We've added a linebacker. We added a wide receiver. I think I'd like to add a corner. Ooh, that's a little dated of a spin, but you can still get, there's still crazy good most feared players, like very viable most feared players in the game right now. In fact, I kind of know who I'm going to get. All right, so I'm going to go with 92 overall Jalen Ramsey. You guys know why I like Jalen Ramsey. Black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all. He's fast. I'm black, 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 and black, black, I'm black, and black. He's tall. Because I'm black, and I'm black. That's about it. Uh, you don't really need that much more out of a corner. Uh, he still has good stats all across the board. He'll still get fucking mossed. Like, he'll get mossed by some big tight ends, some Donald Parham's and Harold Carmichael's, but he's a lot better than the silver I have in at cornerback three right now. So we're gonna go Jalen Ramsey, right outside linebacker, Matt Milano, who's six foot with 92 speed, 90 excel, 95 block shed. Oh my God, he has 95 block shed. Power move and finesse move sucks, so he's not coming off the edge, but he will get off of any block. Wow, he's a beast. Down to right end goes Demarcus Ware. So at least we got a minor D end upgrade, but yeah, I mean, Miles Garrett would have been a good pick here too to actually have an edge. What kind of abilities does Matt Milano get. He's gonna have like some discounted ability down here at the end. Inside stuff and crusher. Oh my god, I fucking love this Matt Milano. Inside stuff, crusher. That's my kind of linebacker right there. Let's go. I won't give him an X factor, but two AP for those two. Let's get it. And I'll fix the AP later, but if Jalen Ramsey can get like tip drill or pick artist, I'll probably give it to him. I'll give him pick artist for one. Offensively, we gotta get Herman Moore in here. I think double me. You just have to go double me on him. I feel like he is gonna get the ball a lot. Now, how do we beat man? He gets short and elite for one. Oh my god. All right, you guys all told me this in a recent video and I did a little research. You're definitely right. Short and elite is one of the best ways to beat man coverage right now. I think the pros run like, there's some pro player who runs five short and elites on his team. That shit's crazy. Uh, I'm gonna give Herman more short and elite for one AP. That's huge. And then deep out elite for one. I mean, I will be going up and agging with him. So that might actually be the move. I'm gonna give him deep out elite and short and elite for two AP total. Uh, he's gonna be a great blocking wide receiver. He's fucking 95 speed, 96 jump. 6'4". Just so stupid. He should, he should not be that fast. 93 truck, 92 change of direction. 94 break tackle. Oh my guys. Deactivate double me on Justin Jefferson. We're going to activate it on Herman Moore. So now our X factors are on Mahomes for Gambit, TJ Hawkinson for double me, and Herman Moore for double me. We're sitting pretty at an 85 overall. I believe I have everyone in now. I just got to activate APs. Make sure everyone is where they should be. Matt Milano looking good. Micah looking good. One more for Ramsey. And I have one available. And with one AP remaining, I think it'd be nice to just throw tip drill on Palomalu. In case somebody tries to ag me and it gets tipped in the air, Palomalu can just scoop it up. And of course, the challenge wheel. Completing the challenge is crucial. We can salvage a player with a loss. Oh shoot, I loaded into the game. Oh my god, he's got a 98 overall? Holy shit. All right, we got Herman Moore on the top three, which I love to see. Uh, my challenge is 30 plus points. Wow. 30 plus points is a very hard challenge because if you really go that many games, like if you really go that far, generally they rage quit. So we would have to have a high scoring back and forth game. It's in the Texans unis and he's going to return this one a little late. Oh my God. And he's going to break the tag and he's still going to go out to the fucking 20. Oh my God. Bledsoe back there. Bledsoe back there teasing me for not picking him. He's got a wide open deep corner route. This guy's gonna be throwing lasers. I'll tell you that right now. I don't wanna blitz Milano. I guess I'll use her Milano here. Oh, he goes with a handoff. 
kind of there. That Keith Byers 98 overall really scares me. Just throws in the middle, a nice little check down, nice play. Let's get Micah in the middle on this defense. I expect him to use Keith Byers a lot. There's Keith Byers. Speak of the devil, he got flattened by his own teammate. Mark Sanchez, butt fumble, let's go. Play action that time. Oh, what a throw! DeMar! DeMar Hamlin! Let's go! I can't believe he got back there! Let's go! Dude, he's like an 86 overall. I thought that was a touchdown. Let's get it. All right, all right, all right. We got some football to play here. I see a wide open Okoye. I take. Nigerian Lane is one of the few corners who is going to light that up. DB fire two. Yeah, this defense is pretty, pretty fast, pretty brutal. But that check down is going to be... Oh, nice tackle. Isn't Jefferson open against DB fire two? I don't remember what's open against this shit. Herman Moore is kind of open. I knew that was going to happen. That animation every single time. Half have it, then they get rocked. All right, it is DB. Oh, this is man. This is actual man coverage. There he is. There he is. Wide open Hawkinson on fourth and eight. He's missing tackles. Finally makes one of Lawrence Taylor. Let's go score. He's got a blitz. It's late. There's Hawkinson cut. Oh, he knew. He predicted my cut. Nice play. I could have just ran to the boundary for the touchdown there. He gets an encroachment for whatever reason. I'm bringing Earl Campbell in. I mean, best case scenario for Earl Campbell is just a little check down out of the backfield that he can like run into the end zone. You know what I mean? That's best case scenario. He's there. I don't think that's... <gasps> Campbell! Campbell! 85 overall! Breaking tackles from 95! Oh my god! Look at this fucking maniac, dude! Shoved him and then hurdled? How the fuck did he do that? That's what we're looking for, baby. That's what we're looking for. Lots of audibles. Uh-oh. I'm behind it. It's just about to say. I'm gonna send the blitz this time. Hey. Oh my god, we're so fucking slow. We can't make this basic ass sack dude any decent card that's a sack right there that sucks okay it did throw him off his game a little bit there though maybe a corner route from parham i don't really know what he's gonna go with here coming over the middle oh yeah it was a corner route. <laughs> i'd be pissed probably another similar looking play Ooh, nice throw up top to donald parham that's where i would like to have a, a julius peppers free safety i'm setting the blitz but I'm with Carmichael now. Ooh, nice pass. I gotta get a turnover right now. Scared of the big boys. Okay. He runs it. Oh my god, Milano! Let's go! He's not there. Okuda! Hell of a play, Okuda! Okay, so play action. Pass it! No, how? How is that not a- That's my user. I'm holding Y. That's an INT. He's gonna take the field goal. Shit. I mean, it's good for us winning the game. That's a great stop. I did want my shutout though. And that should be an interception. I hit my user. All right, seven to three. A touchdown here is pretty massive though for winning this ball game. That, I mean, even a field goal I'd take. Kind of scared that with the firepower we got, I probably can't return kicks all too well. I'm just gonna go Okoye out the backfield. He gets quite open. When Okoye's getting rocked, you know they got some hard hitters. Kind of looking at Herman Moore here. Oh, I had Hawkinson, but I missed him. Oh, he just stepped out of bounds. That would have been a great completion, but he stepped his dumb ass out of bounds. Why do they do that? So pointless. Oh, uh, Hendricks should be looking at Hawkinson, so I think I can hit Herman more here. Oh, no. Hendricks forgot about a Koye! <laughs> but I didn't. Third and one. I'm going quick base. I'm gonna. I'm just going to try and pick up this first. Thank you, Koye. I love you so much. We get ball at half. Actually, I don't know. I have to assume he gets ball at half. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to cover a Koye. That is fine by me, buddy. We definitely like another touchdown. Put ourselves in a really, really good spot in this in this game. He floats far right side. Just leaves the left side stretch. Does he cover a Koye? He does not cover a Koye. What is this? D oh, it's DB fire two, but it, it never. Yeah. <laughs> No! His field goal! His field goal stopped me from getting the shutout in one half. That's okay. I mean, we definitely get a rage quit wheel spin. Hey, duh, boys. No challenge wheel, but we do get a spin on the rage quit wheel. That's about as clean cut as a rage quit can get right in the second quarter. And it, ew, my God! This is a huge one for us, boys. Huge! And we get an upgrade for Earl Campbell. So Earl Campbell now gets his first upgrade, which is just the ability to get abilities. He doesn't actually get any higher of an overall, but he played great. Fucking broke tackles at an 85. I can't wait to see what he does when he's a 95. Five more touchdowns with him. He's fully maxed out. I think, you know, we have one three touchdown game, and it's kind of what we're going to need here. But great start. 
our team wheel jackpot. So any single player in the game, but they must come from the Give me a right tackle. Will your team have a right tackle? The Ravens? Jonathan Ogden, right out of the dome. There's a 96 Marshall Yonder right guard. I'm actually gonna build the greatest O-line ever. That's what I'm gonna do. Because Ogden is good, but he's a left tackle. Maybe we just get 96 Yonder and then we get another right tackle when we can. Holy shit. I literally am gonna have the best O-line ever. 96 overall Marshall Yonder. End game right guard right here. We're gonna get to a point where we can run the ball like a psycho. So no more silver right guard. My defense is still pretty questionable, but my offense is getting to a pretty... Pretty insane point here. I apologize, gentlemen, that I can't get you more gameplay, but I'm gonna save next episode for the next game. That moves us to two and one, which is a nice spot to be in. Our O-line is one of the best, is literally the best I've ever had. We just need to get ourselves a right tackle and we're done there. Earl Campbell as a starter, then Akoya as fullback will be big. And obviously defense needs some help. My linebackers need help. My D tackles, DNs need help. Damar Hamlin was MVP right there, baby. All right, boys, big dub. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.